Hi everyone, it's PhD Simmer here and welcome back to another current household update and this time we have webcam so I don't know, let me know what you think about that. Uh, I don't usually use webcam because I usually like to sit in my pyjamas and record videos on a Saturday morning looking like a hot mess. Uh, so let me know <laughs> um, if you like having a webcam here, I don't know. And hopefully if this is the first time you've seen my face, it's not too much of a shock for you. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to give you a very brief update today because not too much has happened, but uh, I think enough has happened that it warrants an update. So if you are new, we're playing the five year legacy challenge. I'm doing it off screen and on Twitch. Um, and I'm just giving you some updates here on YouTube. And these videos seem to be doing quite well. So I'm more than happy to keep them going. Some things have changed for our little lady. We are on generation four of this family. Um, and if you don't know what this is, this is a five year celebration legacy challenge. It was to celebrate five years of The Sims four being released and it goes through each uh, expansion and with some of the game packs some of the stuff packs but only like one or two in order of release and um, we've done what have we done we've done get to work we've done get together we've done outdoor retreat we've done spa day we've done dine out and we are now on city living and we're on the fourth generation of this family i'll show you the family tree although i've got a better family tree uh elsewhere which i'll link down below I'll link the rules to challenge and my current family tree and we started way back when with Brooke I've done loads of videos so definitely check out the playlist and then we carried on with Charlotte then we carried on with Chloe Chloe's now deceased I think in the last video she hadn't passed away Chloe uh, has now died it's really sad she did die of old age which is not too bad and now we're carrying on with Abigail Cranfield and Abigail's had two kids so the next generation well, the heir hasn't been born yet. I'm doing this as a matriarchy. So I, she's got two boys who I'll introduce you to in a minute. Um, and um, I want to do this as a matriarchy. So I'm hoping she'll have a girl um, at some point. Anyway, so this is Abigail Cranfield, who we are currently playing with. She also lives with her sisters. She has got... I'll try not to go into too much detail to repeat myself from the last video. Hopefully you can watch that if you're interested. But she's got many half siblings and step siblings. It's a very complicated family. She's got uh, three half sisters uh, and a half brother on her mum's side. And then on her dad's side, she's got a half brother and uh, two stepsisters. She doesn't really, not to be rude, but she doesn't really, she doesn't like her dad or get on with her dad. So she, to be honest, doesn't really care about this side of the family. She's very close to this side of the family. Um, so she lives with her two sisters, her older sisters. Her, the oldest is Genevieve, or Genevieve, however you want to pronounce it, who is freaking gorgeous. Like, it's, she's a queen. Oh my god, I love her so much. Um, so that she's the oldest, and then the second eldest is Mackenzie, showing off her, her moves right here. Mackenzie's also stunning. They look very similar. They could almost be twins, to be honest. But this is Mackenzie Cranfield, who I love. Oh, the Cranfields have just got strong genetics, I have to say. So that's Mackenzie. Her eyes are slightly wider apart, I think, um, than Genevieve's. Um, and they've all got this family nose. I think I talked about this before, but they all got this like trait, which is this slightly upturned nose, but I think it's adorable. Uh, where's the, oh, I'll make myself motion sick in a bit. There's her sister. So there's Chloe, Uh Chloe. Pfft. <laughs> Abigail, Abby's girl's got an upturned nose and where's her sister, here's her sister her sister's got a very prominent um, nose but even her half brother and half sister the twins have got it as well, see so look so cute, they're so cute they're such a cute family Ugh. anyway, sorry I'm being incredibly annoying but I just love this family so much uh, so she lives with them but she also has just had two children so she's got Jacob here who looks like he's falling into pillow <laughs> pillow mountain over here uh i think i went a bit too crazy with the pillows on his bed let's get him out of bed he's a little chubble wubber he's so cute he's a little chubby baby i love him adorable look how look at him he's uh, so cute um so this is uh jacob he's adorable um and uh yeah he's her son with what was her dad's i can't remember vince i think their dad's called vince they're not together 
Um, so that's Jacob. And then she's just had another baby who we called Percy, which I really like because it reminds me of Percy Weasley from Harry Potter. And I just think that's cute. I like the name Percy. Also Percival, Sir Percival from Merlin. If anyone watched BBC Merlin, oh, Percy was cute. He's now in, um, the actor is now in, what's the program called? Umbrella Academy. The one with the big arms. Oh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> if anyone watched BBC Merlin, he was Sir Percival in that. So I just like the name Percy. So that's her two sons. And I'm hoping she'll have a third child. Uh, they've moved into an apartment. Obviously, her mum passed away. So she was living in an apartment with her mum. She, Her mum passed away. She had to go and live with her dad during the rest of her teen years. Um, and during her teen years, as, as you may not know, this sim is extremely rebellious and she never went to school in fact i think she's finished school now and she got an f grade i don't think i've ever seen a sim get an f grade before let me just get rid of this because it's blocking the camera a little bit um i don't think i've ever seen a sim get an f grade but she managed to get an f she never went to school at all i think she went to school once by accident um what are you dancing to this okay and uh she got an f and she doesn't have a job right now and she decided she wanted to move in with her sisters and she bought this apartment well she didn't bought buy it but um this apartment was fifty thousand simoleons for the furnishings and it cost them i can't remember what the rental is but it's really high and the way she afforded it was she stole she literally stole i think she stole about three different computers all worth 10 grand each she stole a suit of armor she stole Oh my gosh, she stole so much stuff. It was ridiculous. She stole suits of armors from the uh, Goths. She stole a computer from the Land Grabs. I think she stole computers from... Um, she stole a t TV from um, the Fangs. Oh, she just stole loads of stuff. But she did manage to afford this gorgeous apartment for her and her sister. So I'll give you a little tour. Um, let's do a little tour. And I did decorate this on stream. So if you'd be interested in watching me decorate it, the VOD will go up eventually on my second YouTube channel. Or you can head over to my Twitch channel and watch it. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash or backward slash. One of those. Uh, PhD Summer on Twitch. And there's a VOD of... this. I think it took me two streams to decorate this apartment. And I'll also put a VOD up or a speed... Build, build up on my second channel my second channel is called phd streamer if you want to watch back any streams okay so let me give you a tour so i can't remember which apartment this is but i think it's the same apartment i did my city living let's play in with the drake family so if you remember them yay okay so you come in and we've got this kind of like hallway section first we've got oh yeah our dog passed away if you remember the dog the little dog peanut the little chihuahua i think it was a chihuahua peanut has passed away so we've got our little hallway here with um oh no wait that's not peanut sashes that is um booger if you remember she had because <laughs> she's not a very nice sim she had a she had a dog called booger uh booger's passed away so that's booger's ashes uh we've got just some like decor here uh and then if you come in this room Hopefully I'm not going to make any of you feel motion sick. If you come in this room, it's a laundry. I can't really see it very well. But essentially we've got a laundry in here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then this room is Abigail's room. She was a teenager when she first moved in. And she did have her first son while she was still a teen. Her second son she had as a young adult. But she's only just, she's not been a young adult that long. Uh, she's a young mum. So this is uh, Abby's room. So she did her, she loves to paint murals and do graffiti as well. So she painted this mural on the back wall. Cute. This is her room. Um, she collects the city posters and she collects the snow globe. So that's what's up here. Uh, and these shelves are the same swatch. I think it's just the lighting. I did check that. So this is her room. I love her desk. It's got like graffiti and stuff on it and like scratches on it. I really like that. Uh, and then, yeah, that's her room. She did, when she went to the scan, the baby scan, it did say she was going to have twins, but she only had one child. I don't quite know what happened there, but, and it said it was going to be a boy and a girl. So I got super excited thinking, ah, oh, the heir's going to be born, but it didn't. We had a boy. <laughs> uh, she's got some photos of her mum on the wall. Has a, her and her, um, her mum and her sister. 
There's her mum and her younger sister, uh, who's not living here. She's still a teen, I think. There's her and one of her friends. Uh, another one of her friends. And her brother. So just some family photos in this room. Uh, let's go back out into the corridor. So that's her bedroom. And then we come in here and we've got an office. And bearing in mind, she did still like... 50 60 thousand pounds worth of stuff to pay for this house which is why it's so nice it's lovely this is the office which is stunning if i do say so myself let's check out the view yeah nice view i wouldn't mind having that view so there's her office um and then i love that purple wallpaper it's so rich and gorgeous and then her son's room i tried to do an under the sea kind of vibe uh but <laughs> with what i've got on some custom content but this is his room. He's got the uh, the pictures from the Island of Impact here. Um, he's got a little chairs of chest, some more pictures. Uh, obviously a fish and a chest. And this is a pet bed, but I actually just turned it into a toy, a toy thing. Uh, there's his little brother. And the both boys are going to have this room, I think. Um, yeah, some little plushies. Some ships for decoration, and yeah, that's about it, really. That's his bedroom. Or the boys' bedroom. So that's the end of the house. And then if we come back down, we've got a bathroom just opposite the front door. Um, so yeah, just a bathroom, just a bog standard bathroom. But wouldn't you love to soak in this bath and check that view out? Wouldn't that be amazing? If the people opposite couldn't see you, because that would just be bad. So we come back out into the hallway. We've got like a little bit of a kitchen area. Um, just some, yeah. Just a good old kitchen, nothing too exciting. Um, and then around this corner, we've got our living room. So I tried to use these like dividers. I think these came with Eco Lifestyle. Tried to use those just to define the space a little bit more. Her sister's really into yoga, hence her yoga mat. But here's the living room which I think is lovely. Oh God, this is like so my style. I love this house so much. Well, this apartment. Uh, and then we have, the, I love the dining room. So here's the dining room. Eco lifestyle pack is just amazing. I love the cost, the, the build by stuff for it. It's so nice. So we've got the um, little cactuses here. Got a lovely table. Uh, we've got some more pictures over there. Chest. And then we have her... This is Mackenzie's bedroom. Just here. This took like, I think it took like five hours on stream to do, maybe more, I can't remember. But this is her, her sister's bedroom. I love this vibe. And then uh, we have another bathroom. I'm just leaving the room that I think you're gonna hate the most till last because it's, it's a strong choice. So we got another bathroom here, um, which I really love. I love using these um, island living counters for the bathroom. I think it's so nice. And then, you guys are either going to love this room or you're going to hate it because it's a choice. <laughs> I love it. This is uh, her other sister room, Genevieve. Genevieve is an artist. I nearly said artiste and artist at the same time, so sorry about that. Her sister's an artist. Um, and this is her bedroom, which I really like. But like I say, the wallpaper is a choice. It's a choice. <laughs> Um, so I didn't want to do the whole room in this wallpaper so I did took a little bit of the pink out of the wallpaper and did the rest of the room in that uh, yeah that's her sister's room I think that is it let me see is that it yeah that's the apartment I love this apartment it's got a lot of custom content in it but I will put it on the gallery if you are interested I'll just have to knock some walls out to make it a room that's how the gallery ones work but anyway, um, the reason why I wanted to do the update was not only because she had the two kids, I wanted to show you the apartment, but also she is not a teenager anymore. And before we can get her into the politics career, which is what she's going to have to do, we have to wait for her to become an adult, not just a young adult. So she's going to join the politics career and do the charity. Basically, she's going to like reform herself through that. Um, and I just wanted to sort of explain what happened to the family her mum passing away all that stuff and let's go through what the rules were i don't know if this shows if i uh share this on screen i don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not but um so city living you are the black sheep of the family and raised by your mother alone in the big city 
Um, as a chef and a foodie, your mother disapproves of your vegetarian lifestyle. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, and then it says, you eventually grow up and straighten out your ways and decide to pursue a career in politics, enabling you to help kids growing up in the city. And then um, the traits, vegetarian, kleptomaniac, hot-headed, city native aspiration, politics, charity branch. So we're going to do that um, eventually. And then it says, remain in San Marcino your whole life, which we've done so far. Complete your city native aspiration. I'll show you how far she's got with that. Not very far. Attend all the festivals at least once. I think we've done two out of the four. Do not allow your school grade to go above a C. Definitely did that. Skip school when you feel like it and have two character values in the red by the time you age up to an adult. We did that. Steal items that add up to £10,000. We definitely did that. Graffiti at least one wall and pavement and join in protests. Yep, we've been doing that. Move out of your own apartment as soon as you become a young adult and have at least one child before you're halfway through your young adult life stage. Done that. Have at least two enemies before you age up. Done that. Do not have a job until you reach adulthood. We won't. Um, when you reach adulthood, join the politics career and complete the snow globe and city poster collection. Um, now, we are doing quite well on the collections, but we're very close, but not quite there. So uh, let me show you. So with the... Where are they? So with the posters... Oh, it says we've got 7 out of 15, but that's a lie because we had one left to go. So I don't know quite... This is really weird. I don't know what's happened. Maybe it's when she moved house. Or maybe I need to put them back in her inventory. I'm not quite sure. But she did have one left of each to do. So I'm not quite sure why that's... It might be just where I've moved, maybe. Maybe I need to just put more back in her inventory again. Because you can see we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 14 out of 15. And same here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Okay, so we've got four, uh, two more snow globes to find and one more poster to find. Um, and what else was I going to say... Oh yeah, so her character values were in the red. She had, I think she had bad manners and I can't remember what's the one where you skip school all the time. Anyway, she definitely had more than two in the red. Enemies. Um, yeah, she's not a very like well-liked sim. Emerson doesn't like her. Raphael, Keenan, Hannah is one of her actual enemies. Guy, Nea, like Regina, Nicole. Nobody really likes this girl. In terms of her romances, um, that's fairly interesting. So her Vince is the dad for her first son. I think Aiden's the dad of her second son, but I'm not actually actually that sure. I'll have to check her family tree in a minute. She's also kind of dating Rebecca, so yes, yeah, it's, it's a it's a bit complicated. Who's her? Oh yes, Aiden is her um, second son's child, and Vince is her first son's child. That didn't make any sense. That didn't make any sense. Vince is her first son's dad. <laughs> Aiden is her second son's dad. Not child. And what else did I want to say? I think that's probably about it. Oh, family tree. And no, I did that. Um, oh, aspiration. So she still is in the early stages. She's level two of the aspiration. She needs to light fireworks at the Huber and Hijinx Festival. I tried to do that, but I... I I made a mess of it and it didn't work. <laughs> uh, and then we have to, basically, we've got quite a bit to do. Live in an apartment worth 100 grand. I think ours might be worth that if we keep, uh, keep um, getting it upgraded and keep buying fancy stuff. It's probably worth loads. I actually can't see this because my camera's in the way. So I have no idea what it says, but there you go. <laughs> um, I think that's about it it i think i think i don't know if i showed you her sisters in create a sim so let's have a let's finish up in create a sim um so i think i showed you abby's outfits in the last um uh update video she hasn't really changed any of her outfits outfits but she just oh she's a stunning i love her okay so let's do genevieve genevieve is the older sister um so this is one of Genevieve's everyday wears, if not her own all, yep. And then this is Genevieve's formal. She's very, very cute. Oh, <laughs> okay. Obviously her athletic has gone. So let's just give her something. You can have that. I'll fix that. 
her sleepwear is really cute little polka dot top her um party wear so it's nice like orange number her swimwear just think like basic her hot weather wear i like this i mean she looks cute and her cold weather wear so that's genevieve and then her sister mackenzie um this is mackenzie's everyday wear her formal wear Her athletic, like I said, she's really into yoga, so she's very fit. Ah. Her sleepwear. Her um, party wear. This is so cute. Her um, swimwear. Her hot weather wear. And her cold weather wear. I love that jacket. It's adorable. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, do leave a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of this sort of thing, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell if you haven't already. That really helps out my channel. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys. Bye.